I'm going to do my best to guide everybody through flashing their Big Tree Tech MMB CAM bus for their Enraged Rabbit Carrot Feeder. First, we want to make sure that you have a USB cord coming from your Raspberry Pi. And also, you're going to want your CAM bus cord set up, whether you're using a dedicated U2C or USB CAN bridge through your MCU. Uh, make sure that your CAN bus cord is set up correct and ready to go. We're going to head over to Hysterical's guide. This is where we're going to grab all our copy and paste commands. He has a well-written guide for almost every MCU out there to flash with Catapult and Clipper. I highly recommend saving this. We're going to be references this, referencing this the entire video. Um, I'm going to assume that you know how to SSH into your Pi and that you have Catapult installed. I also want to warn you guys that I have two CAN bus networks in my system. So when I replace CAN0 with CAN1, do not do that. You will use CAN0 unless you have specifically set up an additional CAN network like I have. So first, we're going to want to grab our MMB. And our 5 volt jumper. And we're going to want to install it on the V USB prongs. Just like that. And there's also a reset and a boot button, which you are going to have to hold simultaneously while plugging in the USB cable. I'm going to have to do this on the table since I've tried this multiple times and failed. So I'm going to hold them both at the same time and plug in the USB cable. Now I know you can't see it great, but I'm holding both boot button and I'm plugging in the USB cable. Now release both buttons. And if we did correct, we're going to go to Hysterical's guide and we're going to grab copy and paste sudo dfu util l. We're going to copy and paste this. And we're going to enter that into our command line. And if done correctly, you will find this board in dfu mode. The ending prefix is important where it says 0483 df11. This is a default. Uh, setting. This has never changed on me, but it could. So if yours has changed, make sure that you use this ending while flashing your board. We're going to CD into Catapult. And we are going to make clean. Then we are going to enter the make menu what the config and we are going to make sure that we use the correct settings I have here on my desktop. For catapult STM32. G0B1, 8 kilobyte bootloader, 8 megahertz crystal, CAN bus on PB0, PB1, 8 kilobyte offset, 1 million CAN bus speed. We're going to quit. And we are going to hit make. We're going to go back to Hysterical's guide and we are going to grab the flashing command, copy and paste this right here, should be done by now, 
We're going to copy and paste that into our command line. We're going to hit enter. Success. We're going to unplug our USB. And this is important. Make sure that we unplug our USB jumper. So now we have our CAN bus cable. We're done with our USB cable. We're going to plug our MMB into the CAN bus cable. We are going to query our CAN bus, uh, which is going to be right here. This Python catapult scripts flash tool dash py can zero. You're going to enter this into your command line. It found our MMB with the UUID 910 ending in C4B. So now we are going to CD into Clipper. We are going to make clean. We are going to enter the make menu config. And we are going to use the clipper settings, the clipper config down here in the lower corner. STM32, G0B1, 8 kilobyte bootloader, 8 megahertz crystal, CAN bus on PB0, PB1, with a million CAN bus speed. Quit. We're going to hit make. going to go back to hysterical's guide and we are going to find the correct command to flash catapult or clipper which is right here we're going to copy this and there is a default UUID in there we are going to want to get rid of that and replace it with the UUID above. We're gonna hit enter. It flashed it. Congratulations. You now have flash clipper to your big tree tech MMB.